What's up guys, so how do you make a simple rhythm game in Dreams PS4? Before we start, I want to say this right here is not that hard to do. Um, I'm going to explain the hardest thing to explain, not even hard to do, just the hardest thing to explain first. What you want to do is pull out a camera, that's going to be our screen, what we're um, looking at. Then what you want to do is pull out an emitter, and you want it to emit... The thing that comes out whenever your notes start playing, like in Guitar Hero, you gotta, you know, synchronize your presses to a note pretty much. That's what this is. What you'll wanna do is give this note a label. I'm label mine foe. And then what you wanna do is scope into it and tell you, um, until you see the screen. You wanna change the imp interactions, if you wanna do it my way, to grab. This will make it to where you can grab that object. And then what you wanna do is hook up a grab sensor, that part right there, to the object that's gonna be grabbed. Make it to where when you grab it, it uh, you, you gain score. Then you want to copy my settings for the emitter. You can change the speed of each note because we're going to have different types of notes like a yellow note and a blue note correlating with to each chord that's playing within the song. So this top part plays the yellow, this one plays the blue, and this one could play a different one. And then what you want to do is clone this and then make a blue one. How you would change the color is scoping in until you get to this screen right here. Then change the color for the second note. Then you want to put your emitter on the note. Next what you'll want to do is clone that emitter. And then you'll want to select the blue note that isn't emitted from an emitter yet. I recommend doing this with however many notes you're going to have. So if you have a yellow, a blue, a green, and um, maybe a white, what you'll want to do is get those things out there first. And then once you're done, then um, you'll want to set them to each emitter. Next, what you want to do is pull out an action recorder and a separate action recorder for each emitter that correlates to each color note. What you want to do is action record this dot right here. And that's what's going to make the note appear like it's coming from a, di a different place every time a synchronized, um, a synchronized sound happens. You can also make it to where a sound happens whenever the object is just emitted by looking up a sound and then having it to where that's a uh, clap or whatever power is on whenever the object is emitted, making it to where um, claps and stuff correlate with the sounds in here, just giving you an extra, um, an extra gameplay synth it, it improves the gameplay i've noticed whenever you have claps correlating to this to the notes in there and you'll want to pull out an action recorder a separate action recorder for each emitter that emits every color of your notes and then you'll want to make sure that uh, they're moving differently whenever you action record it you'll also want to turn on pre precise move So with this one, you'll want it to move differently than this one. So that one's like that. And I'm gonna undo it. And this one would be, and let's pretend this is the yellow for the yellow note. This one could be more like this, something like that, you know? It's just gotta be different so that way 
every note doesn't come from the same place making it seem like you know the same emitter is emitting the same object you don't want that to you know happen make sure before you get the objects uh, cloned make sure that um, you set up your grab sensor to the note you might have to set up the grab sensor to every color note and then you'll want the grab to uh, be connected to a score that increases your score pull out a score variable thing and then connect that to the number displayers um, thing right here and then you can change the settings however you want to So how do you get these things to emit? This is how you do that. What you wanna to go to is for each one of these things that have a sound, you wanna to go to this part right here, then you wanna go here, pull out a calculator, in the A, plug the envelope into the A, then make it to where it has to be greater than a number down here in order for a signal to be to tell the emitter that emit one of the notes. So this one just has to be greater than 18 for it to emit a note. So that way the emitter emits at the same time as the sound happens. And you have your camera. And you'll want to use a different calculator for each sound. Next, um, I pulled out a trigger zone. This trigger zone detects the label FO and every note is going to be labeled FO. So if you make sure you label these things before you even uh, clone it. That way it already has the label FO and you won't have to put that same la uh, label for every note. You might also want to put these settings on, you might need to, and make sure FO is the only thing lit up here. And this is label, make sure there's nothing here whenever you do it. So if it detects uh, the label FO, which is the notes, detected put that into a timeline this is our health right here and then put it also into a sun and sky if you're going to use my method right here what the sun and sky does is changes the background color to red to give you the appearance of getting hurt it's just standardly black what I did next was I have made a text displayer press space in here that's important to press space in here so that way this bar appears even though there's nothing inside of there. I press this right here, copy that setting. And then after I made it look good up at the top, I pulled out a timeline. This is the timeline. It's on sustain. Plug this into the power so that way it only goes up while it's powered, but it'll keep it because it's on sustain. And then with an action recorder, I action recorded myself dragging this this way until it was all the way at the end, giving it the appearance of health whenever you get hurt, whenever the note is detected, whenever it touches that all the way below. Near the end here, you want to make it to where this turns off this text displayer. You also want to make it doorway to where you go to a game over screen or back to the main menu or however you're going to do your game over screen. What this uh, keyframe also does is it turns uh, text opacity down to zero, turns this off, turns this off, then it also powers this off. That's what this keyframe does at the end here, making it to where it's like you've lost all your health instead of there being a little bit of a remainder at the end. Then I pulled out a camera. And I set the camera in a good spot.
and then this right here is just the music just go ahead and select some music you want to make for your rhythm type game here's your score your grab sensor grab connected to the power of a score modifier that increases your score it's important to make sure that you have a max emitted on however many notes you want for each color to be in the game at the same time then you want to change the emitted object lifetime if you're going to use this method to make your own game I have this out in 1.0 you, you kind of want this to kind of be at 1.0 so that way notes don't just multiple notes don't appear whenever one uh, sound comes from here that's kind of why you want that there but you can mess around with it you might need to and then you can change the speed for each color maybe a certain type of note is harder or is faster than the other I also have the arrow making it to where the notes shoot downward but you can do it however you want to do it Then I also have this on emit with wires. When object is emitting, it makes a sound, and that sound is a clap. You can, for each color note, you can have a different type of sound that correlates with the music in here. And this is just the trigger zone. You want to put that at the bottom. You might need to stretch it out a little. I don't have it too big not too thick this is just sun and sky basic black white right here brightness turned up it's the settings for the black background 200 tint black right here and you can mess around with everything else if you need to or copy the exact settings then I have my number up at the side over here and that's this I changed it to that then I changed the text that I wanted, the font, and then that should be it. You want to remember to have a different calculator for each sound envelope and each said calculator emits the right uh, color note let's go ahead and rewind it So as you can see, it's hard and I have to make it easier, but it's also going to be extremely fun in my opinion. I'm happy that I came up with this and I just wanted to share with you guys the way to make rhythm games. If you want to make yours different, you can, but this should work the same way for even um, something like, you know, Guitar Hero. The way that you would uh, emit the objects that synchronize with the sound would technically still be the same way, it's, at least it should. So. I'm just making a different type of mini game. I just want mine to be fun. You could actually do yours exactly like somebody else and copy it if you wanted to. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make mine unique, but it should be mainly the same logic. You might have to do just a little bit of um, extra tidbits to make yours exactly like Guitar Hero or something. So I hope this helps you with making a rhythm game. I enjoyed making this game. It's actually probably going to be one of my most funnest releases. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me in Dreams. I'm Young Text YouTube in Dreams, Young Text on YouTube, and Young Text on Twitch. And I have so much artwork and tutorials in my channel playlist. If you guys want to check out my channel playlist for tutorials um, and sculptures and stuff on my Young Text YouTube Dreams PS4 profile, follow me here. If you guys want to keep up to date with the work that I create and if you guys just like the tutorials, also make tutorials and dreams. Thank you so much for your time and peace out.